Michael's question is now the person, his father-in-law, has passed away. But his wife's grandmother, the mother of the deceased, is still alive. So he says now, does my wife, the grandchild, child, the granddaughter, and her siblings have any right in their father's share in their mother's property? The answer is no. See, one of the pillars, one of the conditions, that is, for inheritance is the life of the heir after the one with the wealth has passed away. Meaning that if I have a son, if I die first, my son inherits. But if my son dies first, he does not inherit anything from me when I die. Neither does his children, unless there are conditions. And I'll give you another example. When the grandmother dies, to distribute her wealth, her property, we have to see her heirs. Your father-in-law is not one of them. Why? Because he's dead. He's not there anymore. So the property and the wealth is distributed upon those who come or are left behind the deceased woman, such as her husband. She doesn't have a husband. He's dead such as her offspring. Yes, she has one boy, five girls. Then they take this. What about my father-in-law who died a month ago, a week ago, who died yesterday? He would not get anything because he died before his mother. Okay, what is the ruling on grandchildren inheriting their, par their grandparents? Uh, uh, this depends. If there is someone higher than them, this higher than them would block them. A man died, leaving 10 male grandsons. But also he left one daughter only. The daughter gets half of his property and wealth. The remaining half is distributed to his grandsons from his son, not from his daughter because his grandchildren from his daughters do not inherit him. Only the grandchildren from his sons who carry his name. Another scenario, a man dies, leaving 10 grandchildren and one son, living son. The living son takes everything. The grandchildren take zero because he is the closest to, his, uh, to the deceased and so on. So I hope this 